on everybody this is island hopper tv coming to you from the alamo city san antonio texas let's do it all right here we go dialing it in right into the central part of texas right here where the desert meets the actual green lush part of texas in san antonio you can see right here what we're going to do is show you around the river walk take you guys out to Six Flags and SeaWorld, show you around that area, give you a little bit of information about that, walk around the downtown area. And San Antonio is actually the seventh largest city in the United States in terms of population with 1.5 million people. But if you look at the entire metro area, it's number 24 with 2.5 million people living in the metro area. So this plaza you see behind me was actually set up and established in 1790 to 1890. So this area right here was a part of a new world colonization for the Spaniards. As many of you already know, this part of San Antonio was originally part of Mexico. After the Mexican-American War, this area was ceded over to the United States after the United States had won that war. Now, the Battle of the Alamo is an important piece of history to remember here because actually at the Battle of the Alamo was where General Santa Ana and his Mexican soldiers stormed the Alamo, killed Davy Crockett and the settlers in that area, which we'll talk about a little later on when we show you the Alamo. Long story short though, the Battle of the Alamo was what ultimately led to the establishment of the Republic of Texas, which ultimately became a part of the United States. And that is why San Antonio is called the Alamo City. So as you know, there's a waterfront here. The name is Plaza de las Islas, which is the name of this plaza around the actual waterfront, the river. actually go down to the river now this river was actually built by Portuguese settlers from Madeira Island in the middle of the Atlantic which we will touch on a little bit later in this travel guide of San Antonio if you guys are enjoying this guide so far please do hit the like button and consider subscribing to Island Hopper TV as we continue to show you guys around San Antonio now when I say this river was built by the settlers from Portugal, I mean the actual river front. This river, the San Antonio River, originates in Central Texas. So what you have here is a barge landing. If you look right behind me, you can see a barge tour. They'll take you around and tell you all about the San Antonio Riverfront history. Now on this day we visited San Antonio, there was a lot of rainstorms, heavy rain actually. It was almost flooding the whole area of San Antonio. And then later on in the daytime, it dried up. With that being said, the climate in San Antonio is a subtropical humid climate. So it is damp, wet air in the summertime in July, 85, 90 degrees quite commonly. So it's hot and damp like a sauna at times. But for the most part, still a very uh, temperate climate, nice climate, I would say. Now walking around the downtown area, you can see it is hustling and bustling. This area really does get a lot of people, especially on the weekend. So when you're headed down to the riverfront, expect crowds. What we're going to do now is actually head towards the main riverfront area and show you guys down there. But right now we're just kind of walking around the actual downtown area of the streets and showing you guys what it looks like up top.
Alright, so we've made it to Commerce Street and the Riverwalk, as you can see. Lots of area to walk. Let's go down there and take a look. And when you head down to the actual Riverwalk, you, you can expect to find hotels, uh, restaurants. You might want to make a reservation and plan ahead for those restaurants though, as I did notice that they were booked out sometimes 35, 45 minute waits at least at many of the premier restaurants in prime time, five to seven, eight o'clock at night. Now, uh, beyond that, uh, you will also find these barge tours and lots of different unique architecture. But like I said, down here on the riverfront, it gets very congested, lots of people. This river nowadays is more like a canal system than it is actually a river because there is no muddy banks or grassy knolls on either side where there's wildlife. It's really just a canal system inside of a city that they call the San Antonio River. And when I said that they did uh, kind of form this place by creating the riverfront and the waterfront, they really did. They dug out some of these areas to make it more of a uh, inviting place for people to go down there and visit and thank you to those people from Portugal who did build that. Now, if you did want to take a river shuttle or a narrated cruise, I will tell you the prices here. It is $13.50 for a narrated cruise for ages 6 to 64. So there's no real benefits if you're young or old. But if you are aged 1 through 5, which none of you more than likely are, uh, but you might have some kids, they get on board for $7.50. Narrated cruise for senior admission is $10.50. And military does get a discount at 1050 also. So that website is going to be GoRioCruises.com.
But if you decided you wanted to actually walk around the entire riverfront area, it would take probably a half a day. There is a lot of ground to cover around this canal system or river system as they call it. Uh, but it can be done in half a day, depending on how aggressive you wanted to get with the walking. But uh, more peaceful areas in some parts and then more bustling and busy areas in others. All right, guys, we finally made it to the Alamo. A famous battle was fought here in 1836 on March 6th. It was between the Mexican army uh, with General Santa Ana. And you may know some famous Americans who were here like Davy Crockett. Unfortunately for the Americans, they were wiped out by the Mexican army uh, on that day. wanted to go inside the Alamo to see the church and the actual compound where the fortress was you can see the prices right here you got a audio tour for nine dollars if you wanted to listen and learn while you walk around Right across the street from the Alamo, you have the Guinness Book of World Records Museum, Ripley's uh, Haunted House right here, and the Tomb Raider 4D right there, or 3D. All right, if you guys look right behind me here, you can see the Tower of the Americas. That's a 750-foot observation deck you can go to the top of and get 360 degrees of San Antonio.
One of the coolest hotels you'll find here in San Antonio is the Hyatt Regency on the Riverwalk. If you look around right behind me, you can see way up there is an atrium. One of my favorite times to come to the San Antonio Riverwalk is at night because look at all the lights. Now, if you look right behind me, you can see a lit up carriage ride with real horses. You can do this down here in San Antonio. Here's an interesting fact about San Antonio that not too many people know. The Canary Islanders were the ones who built that riverway system. They're Portuguese. So if you look over here, you can see at the courthouse, they have a document that talks about uh, the Canary Islanders who originally were the first uh, settlers in this area that were non-missionary.
So here we are at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. If you look right behind me, you can see a whole bunch of roller coasters and rides for you guys to come check out. Uh, season pass right now is $59, but go online uh, depending on when you arrive here. Prices do fluctuate and vary. So Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, uh, right here, 13 miles north of downtown San Antonio. And here in Texas, they do have the SeaWorld. So this is the biggest theme park in Texas with the biggest uh, wooden roller coasters. They got uh, orcas, dolphins, all that stuff, sharks right here in SeaWorld. Check it out behind me.